welcome back to my channel all right so this is what's the current gossip about you who's gossiping and why and what's some of the gossip that people believe is true about you now this is a collective reading i will come back and do a regular gossip pick a card uh, maybe even later on today so you all stay tuned for that one but thank you to all of you all who are subbed if you're brand new hit the sub button as well as the bell notification as well as the bell notification i do drop videos weekly thank you to those of you all who keep me booked and busy if you'd like to book a private reading coaching same day read walk and read or priority reading check the pin comment below as well as the description box below make sure you all order a copy of my oracle and tarot deck it's about time available on my website and my Etsy. Ships free in the U.S. and it ships internationally to Canada. Thank you to those of you all who purchased. You know what, y'all? I'm actually going to do a giveaway soon of one of the decks. That's what I want to do. So how about this? You all go follow me on TikTok. Um, I think I'm going to insert, should be insert in the picture here. Go follow me on TikTok. Uh, Watering Sparrow Tarot. And go follow me on uh, Instagram, Winery Sparrow Tarot. I am going to give a giveaway. As soon as I get to a thousand subs on or a thousand follows on TikTok, I'm currently at like 750 or like 749, something like that. As soon as I get to a thousand, I am going to uh, do a giveaway over there on TikTok. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, make sure you comment your, you know, that let me know that you just followed me. Send me a DM or put in the comments that you just followed me. Um, and yeah, all you got to do is be a part of, be in the U.S. or be in Canada because shipping is crazy. <laughs> so be in the U.S. or be in Canada and you will qualify to win. So go ahead, follow me over in those two areas. Definitely, as soon as I hit that thousand mark in TikTok, I am going to pick a winner and do a giveaway. So just when you follow, hit me up in the comment section and let me know that you followed. Uh, it will be a post over there or any of the comment sections. Just send me a DM, send me a DM. And we're gonna do that because I really wanna get to a thousand followers over there. So we're doing a giveaway. Um, also, I'll do a giveaway on YouTube as well. So if you are a new sub or you are contemplating subbing and you would like a copy of my deck, when I get to 6,000 subs, I am going to release or give away a copy of my deck. Once again, you have to be in the US or in Canada for the time being because shipping elsewhere is a little bit more pricier than, than not. But I'm working on that. I'm gonna see how I can do that. But anyway, y'all, um, without further ado, oh, follow me on my other YouTube channel. Um, I should do a giveaway for that too. You know what? When I get to 500 subscribers on my second YouTube channel, so go ahead and follow my second YouTube channel and 6,000 subscribers here, I'm going to give away maybe two decks, but I'll give away definitely one deck. So I think I'm going to combine those two. Anyway, let's get into it. So let's talk about the gossip. So these are going to be channel messages. Uh, apply what applies. Let go, you know, what doesn't apply. Uh, let's see. Universe, spirit guides, and ancestors. Thank you for those who chose option number one. Or didn't nobody choose option number one. I'm so used to doing the pick of cards. I'm gonna I'm I'm follow up with a pick of card. Let's see, universe spirit guides and ancestors. Let's see. For those who tuned in, what's the current gossip? For those who tuned in, let's see. Give me the energies of who's gossiping. What's the current gossip? Give me the energies of who's gossiping. All right, we have the two of cups in the reverse. I'm getting something in regards to a breakup. People may be gossiping or people believe that you are currently broken up from the person maybe that you've been spending the most time with. This could be a partner in a commitment or this could be a situationship. Also, this is involving getting heavy on the fire sign, even though we don't have fire sign energy, fire sign and water sign. We have Ace of Swords in the upright. For some of you, this is graduation season and you've been accepted into your program. For some of you, this is in regards to accepting a new offer, a new job. That's what I'm getting with that one. For others of you, this is, there was some type of delay in a program that you were trying to get into. For some of you, this is in, involving school. 
uh, there is an acceptance or there's a delay in acceptance for it. That's what I'm getting with that one. For others of you, this is about denial to of a job or denial of acceptance to a program you were looking to get into. That's what I'm getting with that one. Give me more information. Universe, there it is. And ancestors, what's the current gossip for those that are watching? Spirit guys and ancestors, what's the current gossip? Gossip of the collective. What's the current gossip of the collective? We have the nine of cups. So people are gossiping how this may be an uncomfortable season for you. You might be kind of grasping for money. Like people feel like you're out of money or you're low on funding. Uh, for those of you all, we have the magician card in the upright. So we have Virgo and Gemini energy coming out. Uh, you might be manifesting a Virgo or a Gemini back into your life. That's what I'm getting with that one. Um, or you're trying to, you're trying to, I'm sorry, manifest a job opportunity. That's what I'm getting with that one. So give me more universe, spirit guides, and ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. What's the current gossip for the collective? 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 Yeah. Five of coins in the upright. People are gossiping about this possibly being a time of despair. Like people feel like you're faking it till you make it. Option. I want to say option number one so bad. People feel like you're faking it till you make it. So are you putting on false smiles? Because I also feel like you've either been absent on social media or once again, it's been kind of maybe a little bit extra in trying to pretend like, oh, I'm not affected by anything. We have the king of staffs in the reverse and we have the four of coins. I feel like people feel like you're trying to cover up a tower moment. Like maybe things are a bit rough or you might be going through a depressive moment right now. People feel like you're trying to cover up a tower moment. And honestly, if you are trying to cover up a, talent, uh, a tower moment, that's your business. Like, how are you gonna stop me from trying not to fall apart in public? But this is what I'm getting with that one. So it feels like you're trying to cover up a tower moment. Like you don't want everyone to see that maybe you're a bit worried about the future. So the gossip is that you're worried about your future, whether it's dealing with money, your relationship or some type of job, which is still wrapped into your money. That's what I'm getting with that one. Like it's still wrapped into your money. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see, what's the current gossip for the collective? Do I want those? Not too many fell out. What's the current gossip for the collective? What's the current gossip for the collective? Yeah, people think that you're worried. What's the current gossip for the collective? Seven is over. It keeps coming up. People think that you're lying. People think that you're wearing a mask or you're trying to save face right now because things are falling apart that you don't want to fall apart, especially for those of you all where you're no longer in a set, settled relationship. People definitely feel like you're trying to cover it up, like you're trying to make it seem like the two of you all are still together. And for whatever reasons, but for some people, now for some people, you, now for the relationship people here, there's been people looking for your relationship to fail. So this is why you're not, you know, you, you're not trying to tell everybody your business. Some people are looking for your relationship to fail. Some of you are here because it's like, okay, I know me and this person are going to get it together before we have to make an announcement. But some people are speculating that the two of you all fell apart. Now, for some of you, some of you, there's people watching a relationship because they want your partner. Now, that's a scandal. That's what I'm getting with that one. Look, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Y'all see me shuffling. I can't make it up. Three of swords in the upright. Yeah, people feel like you're covering up heartbreak. This is the gossip that they believe is true about you, that you're covering up heartbreak. Either you lost out on some type of, you know, opportunity um, or you lost out on a relationship. And then they feel like there's some type of destitute. Either you're running low on money or, you know, you kind of pinching pennies at the moment or once again, or you're in a depressive moment with the five of pentacles energy that came out. You're in a depressive moment because you're dealing with a heartbreak that you're trying to cover up. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see who's trying to be all in your business, who's gossiping about you. Universe, spirit guides, and ancestors, those who chose. I want to say those who chose option number one so bad. Who's gossiping about option? I still want to say option. Who's gossiping about the collective? Give me two cards. Who's just gossiping all up in the collective business? Who's gossiping about the collective? Give me two cards. Who's gossiping about the collective? 
Nine of Coins in the Upright, Page of Swords in Reverse. Definitely people that are trying to find out what's going on with you via social media. I need to do that. I need to do that reading. Who's stalking you on your social media? Nine of Coins in the Upright. Yeah, it's people that's gloating. And then we got the Eight of Staffs in the Reverse. People that's gloating, heavy on the fire sign energy like I felt in the beginning. Uh, that's Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. I'm feeling air sign energy very heavy too. That's Aquarius, Gemini. Leap, yeah, I feel Libra too. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, not really heavy on the um, Scorpio. And Earth sign, not really much. Maybe Virgo in the Earth sign energy. But yeah, but it's people that want to see you fail, essentially. I feel like it's people that you have at a distance at the moment. Maybe you're not talking to them or they're at a physical distance. It's definitely people who are very insecure with their own life. They look for a lot of self-validation. You know these people because they brag about what they have a lot. Like If you go to this person's social media account, they're bragging constantly. Ooh, look at me, look at me, look at me. And not in a fun way, like, ooh, look at my life, you know, I'm my ancestors' biggest dreams. No. In a, like, I'm better than you, da-da-da, pipe down, be over there type of way. And it's like, nah, no, I don't, no, no. So, yeah, so it's very envious energy that's coming through. That's what I'm getting with that one. And for some of you, this is somebody that definitely wanted your significant other. Give me a couple of more. Who's gossiping about the collective? Who's gossiping about the collective? Seven of Cups in reverse. You dropped this person. You dropped this person. You were either, either dating them or the person you were dating, they were dating, was dropped because of you, because they chose you. That's what I'm getting with that. Or you dropped this person. This could be somebody that you, yeah, paid the staffs. There was just no chemistry there. Maybe you stopped being friends with this person. Maybe you stopped working with this person. Or for a lot of you, you stopped dating this person or the person you're dating that they definitely been clocking, you know, to see if y'all broke up, stop dating them. And it's like, really, you let go of me for that? That's how they feel. That's what I'm getting with that one. That's how they feel. They feel like you let go of me for that. So it's a lot of jealousy and envious energy here. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see before we cut out their next actions towards you. Let's see if they can be brave enough to do something about it because people can always talk, but they never do nothing about it. So let's see if they're going to put their action where their mouth is. Because whoever this is got a lot of mouth. Universe, spirit guys, and ancestors, thank you for channel messages. Will this person make action towards the collective. What's this person's next action towards the collective? Two cards, what's this person's next action towards the collective? I can't make this up. Let me see what's at the bottom. I can't make this up. Three of cups in reverse, five of swords in reverse. That's, that's about action and planning. And the emperor card in reverse. This person's gonna continue to be passive aggressive because they're cowards. This person isn't gonna say anything to your face or make any actual plan. And it doesn't surprise me because with this type of energy, no, no. So best you can do is just ignore this person. It's given very immature. That's what I'm getting with that. Especially for those of you that, because I, I keep getting a strong message. And then we even had third party energy at the bottom of someone that wanted to get in on your relationship. They're not going to do anything. And what they need to realize is if you didn't go with them because there was no chemistry, a breakup is not going to make you want them. And then the same for your partner. A breakup is not going to make them want them. So this person is going to keep on steaming, especially over the summer. They're going to keep on trying to be uh, childish and passive aggressive towards you. So, yeah, swat them away. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. <laughs> but that's what I got for you all. Thank you again. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Book that private reading with me, uh, wanderingsprotero.com or uh, through my Etsy. Pink comment below as well as the description box below. And if you don't want to wait for the contest, buy a copy of this deck at my website, wanderingsprotero.com. Ships to Canada um, and ships through the U.S. for free. Not to Canada for free, but the U.S. for free. Now, once again, if you want to be a part of the contest, give me to a thousand subs. A uh, 1,000 followers on TikTok and get me to 500 followers on Instagram, which we're very close. I'm going to combine the both of those and I'm giving away one, one of those of you all who did TikTok and Instagram. You can follow me on both. Um, definitely that would increase your chances. And all you got to do is show me proof in the DMs that you follow me. That's what that is. And of course, I'm going to search you to see, you know, when it's time for me to do the giveaway. So I need to hit a thousand on TikTok and 500 on Instagram combined. And then, yeah. Um, also, 
I'm gonna do another one. When I get to 6,000 here on my main channel, and when I get to 500 on my second channel, but mainly the primary 6,000 over here. As soon as I hit 6,000 over here, it's combined or both or 6,000 here first, I'm gonna give away another deck. You have to be living in the US or Canada. That's the only stipulation. But anyway, that's what I got for you all. You all have a beautiful day. I will be hitting you up again with the official pick a card for those of you all that want something a little bit more tailored. And I'll be seeing you all soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all.